Sean, welcome to 23.7. Uh, we've done two videos prior. We've worked our way up from calf, hamstring, glutes, low back, and got a little bit of the chest. Now we're going to get into the hip flexors and the quads. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the client over to a bench if you have one, or on a, uh, a massage table if you have one. We're going to use this here today. You're going to sit at the end. You don't want them to sit right on the block. They sit right at the end, so they actually feel like they're going to fall off. And then you lay back, so now you'll notice my butt is off the edge here. That's where you would ideally like to be. So I'm going to get Belraj to come over here. Get her to sit at the edge like that. And sometimes for some people, just to be safe, I place my hand here, and as she rocks back, I protect her back and her head, okay? And then she's relaxed. You good? Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave one leg up on my shoulder and let the other leg just lay down like this, okay? And what I do is as I apply pressure to the foot, I apply pressure to the knee. Breathe in and breathe out. Do you feel that there? And what she should feel is ideally from here all the way down the leg, okay? Some people's leg will flare out towards you guys this way. I sometimes will put my leg here, deep breath in, and breathe out. Good, you feel more on the outside as well now. So it's kind of what I would say more, a more complete stretch. We're getting a lot more. Plus our IT bands, they're very tight and pull our leg out. So we're giving a subtle stretch to an IT band and something called your TFL, your tensor fascia latte. So from here, we're gonna hold this. Hold for about 20 to 30 seconds or until you feel the muscles start to relax. Pay attention to your client's face. We don't want them grimacing. You want to be able to see that they feel comfortable. From here, I would apply pressure to the foot and now she's gonna feel it go down towards her knee even more. If there is pain here at the tip of the knee, we are forcing the stretch too much, you need to ease off. I saw her make a face and that's what made me bring it up. Do you feel better now? Okay, so from here, deep breath in, breathe out, and this is a lot, this is a lot deeper, isn't it? It's way more concentrated on the lower part of the quad now and into the knee versus up top. Now, last thing I do, is up top into our hip, up into this area on Belraj and on all of us. We have a little muscle called a pectinus. It's about this big and it runs kind of sideways. Now, it also gets nice and deep into our hip flexors. And what I'm gonna get Belraj to do is I want her to take a deep breath in, breathe out and slowly think about squeezing your bum cheeks. So I'm gonna squeeze, and you feel that stretch go higher up into the hip flexor? Using the glutes to contract in the back, it helps the muscles in the front have to relax. Reciprocal inhibition, it's called. In order for my bicep to contract, my tricep has to relax. We're doing the same thing with the leg. So these are some really subtle things that make a difference to get a complete stretch in the quad. My name's Sean from 23.7, and I hope this helps. And up you go.